Welcome back. If you overheard us talking about the law, then you heard us say the law is good. The law is not bad. In fact, the law is perfect. It's the perfect will of God for his world and for his creatures, for you and me. The law is good, but the gospel is good news. That's what gospel means. The word we translate as gospel comes from the New Testament. It's the word euangelion, which is really just the word um, announcement or message or news with the word good smashed in front of it. It's a good announcement. It's a good message. The gospel is good news, specifically this. That the God who made everything good according to his perfect will has accomplished in Jesus everything necessary to make it good again. The law lays out God's purposes and the gospel reveals God's promises. Promises that, that by faith your sins are forgiven. The the sins that the law reveals are no more. The gospel begins with the promise of justification. That's a big word that talks about how through God's action, God repairs the relationship between him and his people. He pays their debts. He washes them clean. He remembers their sin no more. The gospel says that in Christ, you are restored to that beautiful portrait of who God created to be. What a promise. And that's just the beginning. The gospel reveals promises that that through Christ's death and resurrection, Jesus has prepared a place for you in heaven. Promises that, that in baptism, you will always have a place in his kingdom. Promises that he's with you always. And through his spirit inside you, you're going to see the goodness of God coming through your hands and your mouth and your heart promises that God always hears your prayers and that he never goes silent because he gives you his word and promises that Jesus is coming back. And when he does, sin and death are gone forever. And so are fear and loneliness and depression and stress and anxiety and grief. It's all gone when Jesus comes back to be with his people forever. The gospel begins with justification, forgiveness of sins through Jesus, and the comfort of being once again in a right relationship with God. But it's so much bigger than that. Just like the law impacts every little piece of our lives, the gospel saturates all of who you are in Christ and all you will ever be. And what makes it good news is that you do nothing. The gospel isn't something you earn from your good behavior. It's not something you can buy from how much you give back to the church. There's nothing you can pay for the gospel because there's nothing left to pay. The sin that that shattered God's portrait of perfection, the sin is all heaped on Jesus. All the times we ignored or forgot or broke God's law, all those times are placed on Jesus and nailed with him to the cross. And the perfect Son of God dies once for all, for me and for you. The gospel, the gospel is this, that Jesus is for you. No matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've not done, no matter how old, how rich, how smart, how dirty, how confused, how sad, or how perfect you feel you are, Jesus died for you. Jesus rose for you. Jesus is coming back for you. The gospel is a promise made by someone who can't break his promises. The gospel is good news. The gospel is for you. We'll see you in just a bit.